All right, Mr. Dawson, here's the uh, 118 Scale NYPD car. Um, you can see the hood opens. Obviously, it closes too. Uh, trunk lid, battery, uh, battery stored in the trunk. Uh, front, uh, all the doors open on this one, front and rear. Pop those open here. All four doors do open. Uh, this one has the uh, there's a shotgun mounted inside. Uh, lighted back laptop. This is one. Uh, actually, the laptop doesn't have a light that hangs on the laptop. It's actually lit from the back like a normal LCD screen would be on one. As you're going to see, this one also has the uh, vector light bar with rotators in it. Uh, with um, I don't know how many patterns. Too many, no doubt. Uh, here's the uh, traffic advisor mounted on the back of this one. Uh, again, with maybe 20 different patterns. I don't know. Again, I don't really understand all the necessity for all the patterns, but that's what some people want. Now, this one also has uh, steady headlights and wigwag headlights, and there's also some lights in the grill. Let's shut these doors here. Switches are all located on the bottom right here. Here's the main power switch. Uh, now I'm confused. I think this silver tip one or the middle one here is going to be for your light bar or the arrow stick. Um, and I think the one on the passenger side is for the rooftop light bar. But we'll turn them on here real quick. Kind of give you a rundown real quick of it. Flip the switch on. You can see your steady ons in the uh, headlights and also flashing headlights. Uh, red strobes in the grill. Uh, this one has spotlights mounted on each door. You can see your light bar. I don't know if you can actually pick up the rotation. I'll change the patterns here in a second. Uh, your arrow stick there going through the different patterns it has. And also you'll notice there's white and red strobes in the rear window. Tail light strobes along with license plate uh, backup light strobes. Uh, let's change these here. Kick these off, you just press one button and hold it, and you'll see it. That's for the light bar up top. It's going through a crazy pattern right now. It's going through the different patterns that it has, but if you hold the button down, you'll see this one here light up. If you let go of it right then, it'll shut the light bar off. You hit it again and turn it back on. Uh, go through the different patterns. If you press it each time, it'll change patterns. Again, I don't know why there's so many different patterns. I don't know why they programmed that board that way, but I guess some people like it. Uh, but you can see the different patterns that it goes through. Um, there's like a slow rotate. A bunch of crazy different patterns. All right, same way with the uh, traffic advisor. It's going to be your middle button right here. Uh, you hit it. You get one flash and it'll shut it all the way off. One press. Start going through the different patterns. Change the patterns on it. Same thing, you just press it once. And it'll go right to the next pattern. Different sweeps right to left, left to right. And then like I said, other multiple patterns. It's kind of a well, they can like, call it a cyborg. We have scan type mode. Bunch of different patterns on it. Again, I really don't understand the whole the necessity of all of them. But anyway, I don't build the boards. Um, also, for your uh, tail light, headlight, or I'm sorry, headlight. I'll get it right. Tail light, rear window, backup light, and grill strobes. There's a button. You just hold it. You'll see the whites flash and it'll change patterns. I don't know if you can pick them up very well on this camera, but there's different wigwag patterns, uh, different strobe patterns as well. The sign is some random flashing patterns, as if they're all controlled by a different board. It's almost a steady on and flash. It's a multi-strobe. 
I think it's four strobes for each uh, each cycle. Can't see them again. No credit to my camera on that. You can see that rooftop light. I don't know if you really picked this up or not. Going through different patterns. See if I can change it to something a little bit more. There you go. You can see, you can see the rotation of that a little bit better, maybe. It's right in the dark. And then there's the backlit laptop. Let's see it a little bit better here. Uh, actually, the LED is full. Uh, surface mount technology type LED mounted right into the back of the laptop to light it up like that. Anyway, turned out pretty nice. Here's a video of it. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks again.